Hey everyone, Darren here from the Music Vault. Uh, I just did the 10 most expensive LPs in my collection that I own. Um, it's weird how Discogs is, because I did medium uh, the, from the medium price. And I have a Kiss record that when I fooled around here with it, um, the medium price is like 33 bucks. The high-end price is like $437. So, I don't, I have that record. I know it's not mint because it's still, it's not sealed. But I'm going to do all my CDs now. I, th I just had a, a blast kind of doing that video. And uh, just to show you, I guess, where people's heads are at with collecting music. Um, what they're willing to pay for stuff. So I'm going to do my top 10 CDs now. I, like I said, I had a blast doing the first one. So this should be pretty fun. And some of these I'm like, really? That's... But whatever. First up is a Christian band out of Norway. As far as I know, they put one record out, that was, or one CD out, that was it. I uh, wish they put more out. But this is the first pressing of Grom's Ascension. And Groms is an acronym. It means God rules over my soul. Um, they're like a doom death metal band out of Norway. Awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the first pressing. Uh, some guy has uh, one on eBay right now. I can't remember the price. It's a ridiculous price. And uh, But his isn't a first pressing. I know this is a first pressing. Um, low end is 69.40. Middle is 152.88.68, and high end is 154.22. So 155 bucks for this CD. It's crazy, but uh, yeah. And I know that this, because according to Discogs, this is the first pressing. Okay, uh, next up is. Give me a second. I got all the. I got my computer here, so I'm going through it on my computer. Some stuff I'm looking at going, I don't understand how they price these things. Like who buys them or what the deal is. Anyways, next one is like, um, I guess you could call them a hair metal band. Out of Detroit, Michigan. And they are called Seduce. This is their first record. Um, I used to be really big into these guys. I really, great album. They have another one, uh, um, uh, something about ain't enough. I can't remember too much ain't enough. Um, but that one's, it's not even on here. Like it's on here, but it's not, uh, it's expensive. This one here goes for 29 bucks on the low end. Mid is 65.16 and top end is 181, 181.23. <clears throat> like I said, great album. I don't know if I'd ever pay that much for a CD. I like collecting CDs and everything, but to pay that money for a CD, no. <sighs> Cold copy. Okay, the next one up is another Christian band. I... I bought this one years and years ago. Um, I don't know if it's a, it's their demos or I think it was Betrayal before they became Betrayal. I can't remember the story behind this band. If anybody knows the story behind Martyr and the album is called... Wickenstraut. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> but. Like they're like a Christian thrash. Metal band. Kind of in the vein. I think of Betrayal. Um, I haven't listened to it in. I don't know how long. I don't even know when this thing came out. There's not even a date on this sucker. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's not even a date on this. I want to say early 90s. 
Anyways, <clears throat> low end is twenty nine seventy four, mid is fifty three twenty, and then it jumps all the way up to one ninety four seventy, one ninety four twenty seven. I don't know. It's not that good. Not one hundred ninety seven. Not two hundred dollars worth. Anyways. This one, I have no idea. I don't think I've ever listened to the CD. I picked it up. I think it's a hardcore band. Um, but I picked it up when I was going through, like, at my local video store, they have a CD section, and they have, it's always four for ten. And I think I just liked the cover. It reminded me of something like a, like a hardcore punk band would have put out or something like that. Um, I can't honestly say that I don't remember listening to this. I should throw it on. I'd probably like it. But, um, it's from, they're from S S Winter Park, Florida. That's where the record company, Static Factory Records. And the band is called Wisteria Cottage. Album is called Heathen. Again, I know nothing about it. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't listened to it. But it's expensive. Bottom end is thirty nine ninety, so forty bucks. And then it jumps to one thirty three for this puppy. And then it jumps even more to one ninety nine fifty, so two hundred bucks for this CD that I've never really listened to or ever heard. The cover, like, this jewel case part is all banged at crap. But the CD's perfect. And the book is perfect. Like, it's in mint. I could just put a brand new case on this thing, and I would it would be an absolute mint copy. But, again, I don't get the price of that. This one, I do. This is a Christian band out of Australia. And they're called Terramays, and the album is called Doxology. I think they might have another album out. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. I want to say they do, but it was nothing like this. This is kind of like, uh, I haven't listened to it in a long time. But I, if I remember correctly, it was kind of it bordered on the, the thrash or thrash side, I think it was. Um, but I can't remember it. Don't quote me on it. Anyways, this one starts at 136.04. Then it goes to 192.60. And then it tops out at 220.85. So 220.85 for this record. And again, these are all in mint condition. First pressings, mint condition... Uh, needs to be cleaned, but a couple of, let's see, a couple of marks. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned. It's nothing, um, nothing that a little cleaning, a little scrubbing won't do. Now, uh, this one, I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled on why this one has so much money. I think it's because they, I don't know, I'm dumbfounded. They are a deathcore band, and I can't remember where they're from. Um, and I think that this is, I think they were billed as a Christian band. I can't remember, as Blood Runs Black. And this one album is called Ground Zero. Bottom end is 1861. Now I could see paying 1861 for this record. Then it goes to 4385, and then it jumps all the way to 266 bucks on the top end for this. I don't get it. But somebody wants to buy it. They can have it for 300 bucks. <laughs> I'll probably never sell it for that. <laughs> uh, this one, I can understand 
why this is a doom metal band i think see i haven't listened to so many of these in so long and this band is called shylock or shyliac shylock shylock shyliac i can't remember i can't remember. album is called sunrise these are this is a christian band out of um sweden i believe norway sorry norway and it has Oli. He was in Extol for a while. He put this album out. Um, and that's it. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Um, whatever happened to the other guy? This guy. I don't know whatever happened to him. But they only put this album out. I think it's more like a doom metal um, than anything. Uh, but again, I haven't listened to it in a long time, so I can't remember exactly what. Um, anyways, this is this one's funny. This album, because bottom end, it's at eleven dollars and ninety four cents. I would pay eleven dollars ninety four cents all day long for this. Next one is thirty three twenty five. If I had to have it, I would pay thirty three twenty five for it. And then it jumps all the way up to three hundred and two dollars. Now, if I had to have it, I would pay thirty three dollars for it. I would not pay three hundred and two dollars for this. I wouldn't pay three hundred two dollars for any album unless I was loaded. And I was just, didn't care. Money wasn't an object. Sure, I'd pay $320, $302 all day long for a CD that I wanted. If I was a multi-millionaire and I had no other vices. Like, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't smoke pot, I don't, uh, I don't do anything like go out partying or anything. So, collecting music is what I love to do. But I still would never pay that money. My wife would kill me. If she found out that I paid $302 for a CD, she would kill me. I think I bought, uh, I got into a bidding war with a guy on, on uh, Face or eBay. And I ended up paying like 37 American for, no, it was Canadian. Sorry, it was Canadian. 37 Canadian. So almost 40 bucks Canadian for a Crimson Thorn CD. Um, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> At the time, I really wanted that CD, so I paid the 40 bucks for it. But it's because I got into a bidding war, and the guy was pissing me off. And I was like, no, you're not going to win this. So I ended up winning it, and then I was like, ooh. <laughs> I paid 40 bucks for the damn thing. Anyways, it's worth it. But yeah, not 302 bucks, no. The next two are box sets. And they're in respective order. Motley Crue's Music to Crash Your Car 2, Volume 2. And it is, low end is sixty six forty five, still more than what I paid for it. Excuse me, and this sucker is in mint, 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 mint condition. So it goes from sixty six forty two forty nine to one hundred twenty eight fifty nine. dollars all the way up to $325.11. I would not pay that for that either. However, somebody did because it's on Discogs for that much. The next two are mind-blowing. <clears throat> Music to Crash Your Car, Volume 1. $73.89. $83.99. And then it explodes all the way up to four hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents. That is crazy. Four hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents. Wow. This one, I haven't got a clue. I've never seen it out in the wild ever. I went into a used record shop about 15 years ago, saw it because I'm a huge Razor fan, 
I bought it. Most expensive CD, record, anything in my collection. Razor Exhumed. I've never, ever seen it. I've seen it on their Discogs page, like, or on their uh, page for, um, like, their discography and that. I've seen it on there. I've just never seen it ever. I, don't know, I didn't even get it in, a, like, a, a normal record shop where you could buy it brand new. I don't know if it was a mail order thing. I have no idea. It's on Fringe Records. And it, actually, it, it was distributed by Fringe, but it came out, on, I think, on Razor's Fist Fight Records. That's their record uh, label. It's a double CD. And it has, the first CD is everything that Stace Sheep, Sheepdog McLaren did. The original band, uh, Embro, Mike Embro, or um, Mark... Campolongo, Longlo, Longo, something like that. Dave Carlo. It's the original um, Razor. There's 16 songs on that first CD, and there's 22 songs. And Bob Reed was the vocalist that basically did, was the second vocalist. They had a bunch of drummers and a bunch of bass players in that. Dave Carlo has always been the only constant in Razor. He is Razor. But this CD here is crazy price. When I was doing my disc, when I was cataloging everything on Discogs, I couldn't believe it. The low end on this sucker is $106.40. Mid is $183.78. That's mid. And this is mind blowing. This is absolutely mind blowing. High end. It's $532 for this CD. Somebody on Discogs bought this CD for $532. I freaking love Razor. I would never pay. I don't know anybody that would ever pay $532 for a CD. It would have to be signed, made of gold, and the band handing it to me before I'd pay that much money. That is nuts. Um, I'm glad I have it in my collection because I love Razor. I would never sell this unless some guy offered me stupid money like $700. Then I would sell it. Even for $500 I don't think I'd ever sell it. I love Razor. I love the fact that I can own something that somebody else wants that's crazy expensive. And I like that kind of feeling too. But again, music is meant to be enjoyed. Um, when I die, my whole collection, I'll probably just will it to my best friend. Um, I might send a bunch of stuff out to friends. Um, but it's, it's meant to be enjoyed, man. Like, these prices are crazy. I know $30 for this CD, for sure I would spend $30 for this CD. I mean, even $40, it's a double disc, limited edition. I've never seen it out in the wild anywhere. But to pay... $500 for a CD? Man, you really have to want this bad boy. Anyways, those are my top 10 most expensive CDs in my collection. I'm not going to do, you know, top 10 videos. or I'm not going to do that. I could care less about that. I just thought it was fun doing vinyl and doing the CDs. I got to put it all back. That's a pain in the neck. So, anyways, um, yeah. Enjoy. I'll see you guys next video, which, again, like I said, will probably be a room tour. Either today or tomorrow. I'm hoping tonight. I'd like to get it up my when my daughter comes home from school and um, get it up, get this place cleaned up, straightened up, and the way I like it. And then I'll show it off. Okay. Peace out, guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.